Okay, so let's talk about data types. So, um, and you may have already gone through some of this as you read some of the documentation. Difference, even within SQL database, there are a lot of different data, type, data types that are supported by MySQL versus Postgres versus SQLite versus MS SQL versus Oracle and so forth. So, because again, all these databases are unique and they're optimized for different things. Now, what I would recommend you do here is don't get overwhelmed with all the dozens and dozens of different database, uh, the, the, the different data types that a database table can store. For example, uh, they may introduce some concepts such as um, these data types that you haven't heard of. But the data types that I think you really should you know, understand and get familiar are the ones that are easily that are easily accessible across almost all of the different SQL databases. And, and why, is that, why is that important? If you're going into a web application, you may start out with, let's say, SQLite, which is a very lightweight database that's usually used for testing, but not really in a production setting. But it's very light, it's easy to manage, you can just copy the file directly and share with another person, it's very convenient, right? So. Uh, you may use SQLite, and then you may then say, okay, let's, we're going to switch over to MySQL, switch over to Postgres, or you know, switch over to another SQL database, MS SQL, and so forth. So, now, imagine if you're using a data type that was only specific to SQLite, and later you're transferring your application to work in another SQL database. Can you imagine the amount of work that you would need to do to now convert all the data types that were only working with SQLite, and now you change it to work on MySQL and change it again when you move over to Postgres and you know things like that. So any data types that are usually specific just to one database, for web developers, we usually don't use them. We try to keep it generic. And as you level up on your web development uh, experience, you will know more uh, what I mean, where all that things are kind of done at an abstract level later that you will learn uh, through ORM, Object Relational Mapper, or you know there are different names for things like that. But anyway, that's for another time. So below the video, you will see some of the data types that I, I um, think you need to focus on. And those are integers, int, varchar, text, date, date time. Those are the meat. That's probably used to create 80% of that stuff. There's also this data type called blob, and you should never use it. You could use blob to store some large, large data, such as videos and large images, but you shouldn't store that in a database. There are other ways where you can store those large files more conveniently, and instead of storing that on your database. So you almost always never wanna store information in blob. Now, sometimes, you know, um, text is not enough. So you need something that's bigger than text. So you can use medium text, long text, but those are often usually not very rare either. So know about what those things are. You know, there are also some others such as uh, bool, boolean. I think that one you can use. Uh, I think that's pretty common, but there are all these other data types, again, that may be specific only toward one database and later, if you were to move to another database, um, you may just really hate the fact that you used the wrong data type. So anyway, for now, just master those fundamentals. Yes, MySQL does support all the other data type, uh, types that you will read about. Don't worry about it. Just focus on these fundamentals now. And as you level up and as you learn uh, some of the other things, um, you know, you will really see how these fundamental data types are used across all of these applications to create almost anything. Okay. All right.